G'day, this is the story of Anzac Ted by Belinda Lansbury. Anzac Ted's a scary bo bear, and I can tell you why. He's missing bits, his tummy splits, and he has just one eye. His fur is torn and dirty, and he hasn't any clothes. He doesn't hear with just one ear, he should have two of those. His head is kind of wobbly, and his legs are rather slow. Perhaps it's due to one or two encounters with a foe. I put him in the washer, and I try to get him clean. But Anzac clings to bras and strings and things I've never seen. He's in the washer there. He frightens all the children, making show and tell a mess. See, they're all run out the door. I don't know why some start to cry, but I reckon I can guess. He never wins the toy show when we vote our favourite toy. He doesn't tote a single vote from any girl or boy. Dolly's got a few. Robot's got a chock, a, a barrel full. Jerry has a few. The train gets some votes and the bat's pretty good. But Anzac Ted, he don't have any. Instead, the class just ridicules all 27 kids, though no one knows my Anzac woes, or just how brave he is. Poor Anzac Ted, look, nobody likes him. Go home. They just can't see his special or seek or the secret he may hold. He might look worn and badly torn, but Anzac's very old. See, Anzac was my grandpa's when my grandpa was a kid, and he made it through a war or two, just like the Anzacs did. There's grandpa as a kid, with Anzac Ted. When Grandpa Jack enlisted, he was only 21. He kissed his wife, he loved his life, and hugged his baby son. Then Grandma packed a teddy bear, the bear he called his own. For luck, she said, take Anzac Ted. I know he'll bring you home. So Anzac Ted went off to war from Africa to Greece, and in each tent that Anzac went, he gave our soldiers peace. There's Anzac with the soldiers. He soon became their mascot, and despite the diggers' dread, they knew they would make it through alongside Anzac Ted. And there he is marching with the soldiers. So Anzac was a hero. When the war was finally done, though battle sore and scarred by war, he'd faced his fears and won. He never saw a medal. But some heroes never do, and we don't see just how he'd be without our Anzac crew. I know he isn't pretty, and some people roll their eyes, but if they see, like you and me, through Anzac's thin disguise, they'd see a hero, plain as day, who sits upon my bed, a hero who saved me and you. His name? is Anzac Ted.